friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be starting off a new passenger train, and we're going to be building this Amtrak Pacific Surfliner F-59 PHI locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. To start off, we're going to take out andesite stairs, and we're going to put three of them on bottom coming across the rails like this. Then above that, we need to get three upside down stairs. Then we'll come around behind it, two blocks of andesite on each side. On the sides of that, a right side up stair and an upside down stair. Same thing on this side. Then we'll take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around in the middle and get it stacked up to that second block. Delete the ones we use for placement. Underneath it, we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate and we'll also open fence gates on either side of the coupler. We're also gonna knock out this middle one and replace it with a block so it actually connects to that coupler. Then we'll take out a block of andesite here and we're gonna put one on top on each side and three across the middle. Then on the front, a warp button on each of the top corners. Come around behind it and on the bottom of each side, we're gonna put an upside down backward facing andesite stair. Then two andesite blocks above them and on the second layer, another upside down backward facing stair on each side. And then, another block on top of those stairs. Next, we'll start our first truck. So we're gonna come one block behind this, down on the rails, and we're gonna get a block of netherite on each rail with an end rod in between them to be the axle. Behind that, we're gonna do a three by three of andesite blocks. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we'll open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And also into the ends of the wheels down here. Take out a polished deep slate stair, an upside down stair here, right side up in the middle facing out, and an upside down here. Repeat that pattern on this side. Next, we're going to take out a polished black stone block and we're gonna come up on the second layer and we're gonna fill in the middle three on the second layer with polished black stone down the length of this truck. We'll stop above where those fence gates are. Turn around on the end of it here and on the side of the black stone, put an upside down forward facing andesite stair on each side. In front of that, an andesite block coming off the stair then come underneath and another upside down forward facing stair on bottom. Same thing on this side, a forward facing upside down stair. Then we're going to extend this down by 14 blocks of andesite coming off that bottom stair. Same thing on this side, 14 blocks. Then we'll put a row of upside down andesite stairs across this end. And we'll come back down in this gap here and fill in the middle with forward facing upside down stairs. Then we'll come back up here on our second layer and continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone blocks. And we'll bring it down the length of the fuel tank section here. We'll stop at the end of it here, and then up here we'll go back to andesite stairs, and we'll put five upside down stairs coming across the end up here. Then on this end, right in front of the stairs on the side here, we're going to put two blocks of andesite. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to switch back to andesite stairs and we're going to put a row of upside down outward facing andesite stairs to fill in the rest of this field tank. Same thing on this side, upside down outward facing andesite stairs. Then in front of this, 
we'll work on our next truck here. So we're gonna take out our netherite to be our wheels. Come in front of this here. On the next block down, get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. I was having some trouble placing it here. In front of that, a three x three of andesite. Another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels on this end here. Then we'll take out a polished deep slate stair upside down here, outward facing right side up there, upside down facing this way here. Repeat the same pattern on this side of the truck. Then we'll go back to our polished blackstone block. We can actually knock out these middle three stairs here. We don't need them. Fill that with polished blackstone on the top middle three. We'll bring it down the length of this truck here. We'll stop above where the fence gates are. In front of this, we need to make a five by three of andesite blocks coming out to each side of the rails. Then in front of that, we're going to do a T-shaped pattern in the middle, and then we'll put an end rod down on bottom above each rail. Then in front of this on bottom, three andesite blocks in the middle, and on the outsides of that, an upside down outward facing andesite stair on either side. Then five andesite blocks, and three upside down stairs on this top middle facing backwards. Then we'll take polished andesite slabs, three of them coming up this gap to be stairs, and three coming up the gap on this side. A warp button on either side of that second layer, and then stack up a dark oak stair here to be the coupler. Underneath it, we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate, and then on either side of the coupler, a dark oak fence. Come on the side of the truck here, and we're gonna delete these stairs because I made them the wrong color. We're going to replace our stair pattern with stone brick stairs because they're supposed to be a lighter gray, at least when the locomotive's clean. Sorry about that, I just realized this mistake. So do the same thing here, delete this stair pattern, replace it with stone brick stairs. And then of course we'll do the other side. So take these stairs out, replace it with stone brick stairs, and one more corner to go. Take out these stairs and replace it with stone brick stairs. Then we put a hopper in front of each wheel, a stone brick slab above the hoppers, and iron trap doors across the middle. We'll do the same thing for this truck. Hoppers in front of the wheels, stone brick slabs above them, iron trap doors across the middle. Then we do this side. Hoppers in front of these wheels, slabs above them, trap doors in the middle. One more corner to go. Hoppers in front of these wheels, stone brick slabs above them, and iron trap doors in the middle. Next, we'll come up on this third layer and we'll fill the top middle three on that layer end to end with netherite. Then I made another mistake. We're actually gonna knock out all these top andesite blocks and replace it with smooth quartz. Make sure you replace the warp button there. And on the front here, replace that with smooth quartz. And on this side. And make sure you replace the button on this side as well. Then we're gonna go along the top outside edge on both sides, end to end with smooth quartz. Then we're going to come on the side of the fuel tank here, right above where this first outward facing stair is under it, and put a crimson button, skip to a crimson button. Come to the back, above the last of the blocks here, put a crimson sign, skip four and a crimson sign. Then we're going to repeat this on the other side, 
So a crimson sign above this last block here. Skip four and a crimson sign. Then we gotta do our buttons on the front again. I was just making sure I had it lined up right here. So above this first sideways stair, a button, skip two, and a button. Now we're gonna come on top of the front here and we're gonna take an andesite block. We're gonna put three across the front and one on each corner. Then a blue concrete here and here, and then blue concrete here and here, and a site in the middle. Three and a site across this top middle. Then we'll come around behind it here, and we'll put three and a site coming backwards on each side, on bottom. Above that, we're gonna put three blue concrete on each side. Then above that, here and here, an andesite stair facing forward, and three andesite blocks in the middle. Then behind it, a block of andesite, a blue concrete. Then on the next layer, across this, a light blue stained glass block. Then a light gray, another light blue, another light gray, another light blue. Behind this on each side, three light blue stained glass blocks coming backwards. Then underneath it, two andesite and a two by two of blue concrete. Same thing here, two andesite, a two by two of blue concrete. And actually we're gonna knock out this block and replace it with coal on each side. Then on the next block behind this, knock out the smooth quartz, put in a smooth quartz stair. Above it, two upside down polished andesite stairs. Same thing here, so knock out this, a smooth cord stair right side up, and then two upside down polished andesite stairs. Then we'll put a warp door on top of the stairs on each side. Behind that, on bottom, we're gonna put two andesite on each side, then a two by two of blue concrete, then a block of coal, and then a blue concrete. Now we'll start working on the back. So come down here and the first thing we're gonna do is make a banner. So come into a loom with a light gray banner and blue dye, make the top half blue. Come over here with an iron door, turn this way and put an iron door right there. Then we're going to come stand on it, crouch, and put that banner over it to cover up the door. Then, we're going to switch over to a warp door for the actual back door here. That's wrong, we're going to have to turn this way and place it right there. Then we're going to put two andesite, two blue concrete. And then start right here with a line of andesite coming all the way up the bottom until it meets up. We'll do the same thing on this side, a full line of andesite out here. We're going to bring it right back to the end of that quartz section. Then, we'll go ahead and do a full line of blue concrete. Same thing over here, a full line of blue concrete. Until you get right here. Then above this, we'll make two rows of three blue concrete up here. Then two blue concrete coming off the back middle like that. Then we're gonna grab a blue stained glass pane here and put two blue stained glass panes on either side of this back blue concrete up here. Cause there's this little part that sticks out. Then on the side, we'll do another two layers of blue concrete going all the way up to the front on both sides till it's all filled in. Now we'll detail the front here. And on these outside, bottom, and side blocks, we're gonna put a glow item frame on each side with glowstone inside of them to be ditch lights. Then on each side of this andesite strip, a crimson button. 
Then in the middle here, where there's the single andesite black, we're gonna take out a birch sign and we're gonna type the word Amtrak in all capital letters. Then we need to hit that with blue dye and then a glow ink sack. Then we'll come up on this andesite strip. We're gonna put a warp sign on each side with our locomotive number, which for this one is gonna be 456. And we'll hit both of those with white dye and then a glow ink sack. In the middle, a glow item frame with glowstone for the headlight. Now we're gonna move down to the back end here. We're gonna come in on this left corner, knock out this block, put in gray wool. Then we're gonna put two gray carpet right here and a gray carpet on each of those corners. Then we'll put two ladders above that wool. And then on the bottom right corner of this stained glass, a glow item frame with glowstone. Up on the next block on the outside edge, a warp sign with 456, and same thing on this side. Then we'll hit those signs, both with white dye, and then a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna take out iron bars. Right here, we're gonna come up by four, and then forward by one. Here, we're gonna come up three, over one, and then up here, Two of them. We'll repeat that over here. So same thing on this side. Here we'll come up three, over one, up one, over one. And then here, up four, and then forward by one. Now we'll come up and do the railings for the cab door. So on either side of the door, starting on the smooth quartz, a column of four iron bars. And then the same thing over here, a column of four iron bars on each side of this door. Next, we're gonna come down on top of the back here with a deep slate tile block. One block in from the end, put three of them. Same thing on this side. Then a blue concrete on each end and three across that middle. In front of it, we're gonna put two blue concrete, then go back to deep slate tile, and we're gonna extend it forward in a row of eight. Same thing on that side, eight over there. Then, in front of that deep slate tile section, we're gonna put two blue concrete, two over there, and then an andesite. In front of the andesite, three deep slate tile on each side. Then we're gonna bring andesite all the way forward until it's one block before the front windshield. So it can get right here. Then we'll start filling in the middle three with andesite. And just keep bringing it back here. stop where the andesite stops right here for the rest of the roof we'll fill in the middle three with blue concrete down to the end next above this front windshield we're gonna put a line of andesite slabs coming across it then we'll come up top behind it here skip two blocks back and we're going to put two rows of andesite slabs coming across the roof. Behind that in the center we're going to put an iron pressure plate in the middle. Then two levers going into each other for antennas and on the block behind that a polished blackstone button to either side. Then we'll go back to our andesite slabs and we'll run it up the side here until you get just before this vent. Then, on top of that vent, we're gonna switch over to deep slate tile slabs. And 
put three of them on top of there. Same thing on the other side. In the center behind this, a smoker for an exhaust and two andesite slabs on either side. We'll also put a row of three andesite slabs and another row of three in front of it in the middle there. Then we're going to switch over and we're going to take out dark prismarine stairs and get them up here, except this front one needs to be facing forward so it kind of wraps around the corner like this. Then we'll switch over to deep slate tile stairs and cover above this vent, then two dark prismarine, three deep slate tile, dark prismarine. We'll do the same thing here. So deep slate tile above this vent, two dark prismarine, three deep slate tile, dark prismarine. Then in the center behind this exhaust, we're gonna open back to back dark oak fence gates for the horn. Then behind that, dark prismarine slabs coming across on the upper hip box. On the next block behind that, we'll make a plus shape with our slabs, then a second and a third. Knock out the centers of all these fans. We'll put in a deep slate tile slab. Make sure it's on the upper hip box of the block below it. And then we'll put oak trap doors above that for the actual fans. Behind these fans, three andesite slabs coming across. Then behind that, skip a block in the middle and use dark prismarine slabs to make another fan. Same thing, knock out the center, a deep slate tile slab, and an oak trap door. Behind it, another three andesite slabs coming across. Back here, put a smooth stone slab on one side, a flower pot on the other. Up here, a grindstone on the right, and an iron trapdoor in the middle. Now we need to make some banners for our lettering here. So we're going to go ahead and come back into our loom. We're going to use a blue banner and a white die. We're going to put a vertical on the left, a vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, upside down triangle on the top. New banner. Vertical in the middle, horizontal on top. New banner. Vertical on the left, top half white, diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left, diagonal, then the other diagonal. Then switch to blue die and put a blue border around all of these letter banners. And then we can come place it on the side of the locomotive here. So we'll come up on the side here and we're going to come under the back of this big vent and we'll use our banners to spell out the word Amtrak. And then we have to put it on the other side. So same thing, we start at the back underneath this big vent and we spell out the word Amtrak. Now the outside's done and we'll do the interior. So come on in the cab here and we're going to take out smooth sandstone slabs. A row of double slabs under this windshield and then start filling the whole floor of the cabin with your slabs. We're going to bring it back until it's one block past the door here. Then we'll come up here, turn around. We need to get a glowstone in the top middle and then underneath it two blast furnaces one on the side and a door on the left then use stairs on each side for seats here three slabs on the upper hip box here two glow item frames with end crystals for computers and a lever for the engineer and now the cab's done and we'll do the engine room come through this door here Take smooth sandstone stairs and make a staircase going down to the bottom. Then switch back to your slabs and we'll fill in this L shape right here aligned with the stairs going floor all the way up to the top. Just like that. 
Then we'll do another two columns of slabs in front of this here, leaving this side open for a hallway. Then down in here, an end portal for a toilet, a door on the front of it, and another two columns of slabs on the other side to frame in this little bathroom. Above that, we're gonna fill in above the door with slabs. Then we put a door right here, and fill in above the door to the top with our slabs here. In front of this, in the middle here, we're gonna put a row of three waxed oxidized copper and bring that all the way to the ceiling, and then three on each side of the top here. Then we do the prime mover, so coming up the middle in front of that, we're gonna go ahead and put a row of seven anvils. Then a row of netherite above it, and on the sides of all the netherite blocks, a polished blackstone button. Same thing on this side here. Then above that, another row of anvils. Then on the top at the front, four netherite, and then polished deep slate wall on the rest of it. Then we'll come down here, crouch, two sideways end rods, and we'll do the generator. So we're gonna do a two by two of smooth stone blocks. Above that, a polished deep slate stair with a brewing stand behind it. Above the stair, a polished deep slate wall and another brewing stand above that. Skip a block back here for the head end power unit, put three sideways anvils. Above the anvils in the middle, we need to get two rows of three smooth stone. On the front of it, two glow item frames with end crystals. Then up here on the very top of it, on the front, we're gonna put an anvil, then a brewing stand, then a polished deep slate wall and bring that till it meets the back wall here. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Pacific Surfliner F59 PHI. I hope you enjoyed the build. And make sure you save lots of room on the track behind it because we will be doing this entire train. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.